tonight I made a bet with Holly as we often do for elimination shows um, especially when it comes down to the fun what are you doing we bet spicy chips and a red box movie um, and for on American Idol so tonight was the finale of American Idol I did watch last night it was the first time I'd watched in a while and I thought I, I thought both guys did pretty good I thought um, Adam was just like over the top like I thought he was before even though I like Adam and Chris was just boring and attractive and uh, I bet on Adam winning because I was pretty sure that Adam was going to win and I lost the bet. <laughs> Do you want to gloat? So Holly gets spicy chips and a movie of her choice from Redbox. Yeah, <laughs> Chris won. <laughs> we usually bet Cold Stone and she owes me like I only owe you one. Now she owed me two. You. I owed her two. From what were the two things that? No, no you bet that Taylor was gonna win. I bet that Mindy because I lost. Oh yeah. So I owed her one Cold Stone. For what else did I lose? You bet against me. For, for love of Ray J. Because it was oh, those yeah. two shows right in a row. Oh yeah. And then you lost both. Because I I really I wanted um, Cocktail to win, but I really didn't think she was going to. But I bet I bet on her and I won. Yeah. And then on a whim, I was, I was in a really shitty mood, and I bet that Brandon was going to go home and make me Supermodel. In the first ten minutes, I bet that he was going to go home, and he did not go home, because he's still there. He's doing so, a good job. So now I only owe her one visit to Cold Stone, but she owes me spicy chips and a red box movie. Yes. You better not pick something stupid. Cold Stone's way more expensive than that, by the way. I don't know how that's fair. But, can I do the rest of my video now? Are you done? American Idol, Adam Lambert did not win, which you all know. I know. Everyone's either super excited that the underdog won, or they're really mad that Adam Lambert didn't win. So It's funny, because Chris Allen, still not on my radar at all, because I stopped watching after they went on the main stage, and he, before that, got no airplay. I was like, who is he? He made it, he got... He was one of the top three in his top 12 or whatever, and I was like, who? I don't even know who he is. So, yeah, I, he's still not even on my radar, and he won. He's the next American Idol. We went dumpstering tonight. We found a table. Little, like a little, you can't see. <laughs> but then we also found a bunch of pots, which is cool because I've been growing stuff. I planted basil and bachelor buttons. I like bachelor buttons and they're hard to kill. In this little seed starter thing, and the bachelor buttons are starting to bud uh, a little. Um, the basil isn't though yet, but um, I'm gonna, I'm trying to get them all germinated and then I'm gonna transfer them either to outside or probably to actually now to one of the pots because then I can have it inside. I like having plants inside a lot. Speaking of plants, Every time Ryan comes over, I forget to show him this. Ryan got me this poinsettia, which I think he got one for like almost everybody for Christmas. So I'm like, it really, it really was just these couple big um, leaves, like right here. And now all of this has grown and all of this has grown. I keep meaning to show him how good it looks. I guess I'm getting better at taking care of plants. Either that or poinsettias are hard to kill because it looks really good. I don't know. I didn't really do anything. 